Hello students, today we are going to uh, study the topics electron gain enthalpy, okay, electron affinity and electron negativity. Okay. Electron gain enthalpy is represented by delta EGH. Okay. Actually what happens here, one electron is being added to the atom of the element, isn't it? And so as the result what happened that becomes negative in charge. Okay. So what is this here? What happens? This electron is being added to the atom. Okay. In ionization enthalpy we had seen that electron is being removed but here electron is being added to the atom okay in the neutral atom okay so what is this electron gain enthalpy here electron is added to the neutral gaseous atom to convert it into a negative ion and the change in enthalpy which takes place in the process is known as what electron gain enthalpy here you will see that what happens when an atom is taking an electron naturally it will be changing into a negative ion isn't it so here this electron gain enthalpy can be exothermic also endothermic also okay why i am saying it can be ex exothermic as well as endothermic because here the energy can be released also if it can take easily the electron. But yes, if it can't take easily the electron naturally, what will happen? It will be an endothermic process in which tremendous amount of energy will be used up in taking out the or accepting the electron. Okay. So like when we see in group 18, okay, what happened? There is a stable configuration. There, the atom is stable, isn't it? And as the result, if we try to add an electron, what happened? That stability is disturbed. It becomes unstable. And as a result, it becomes, here I have shown you the example of neon plus electron. Here, tremendous amount of energy will be required to accept the electron because neon is already stable in nature. And as the result, when it accepts that electron, what it becomes? It becomes unstable negative neon ion. Isn't it? So here there will be a what? Law, um, the positive electron gain enthalpy. Okay, the value will be too positive in nature. It will not be negative in nature. Okay, now this more the atomic number in the period, more the negative value of electron gain enthalpy. Okay, see here. We are seeing along the period, okay, and along the group, okay. When we are seeing along the period, you see over here, here it is minus 60, okay, and here it is minus 141, and here it is minus 328. While we are going through this period along left to right, what we are seeing, the more value, negative value of electron gain enthalpy, isn't it? So, but when we are seeing in the group, see the first one, minus 60 above of lithium, we are seeing in cesium, we are seeing minus 46, okay. So, here we are seeing less negative value of electron gain enthalpy in case of cesium, but in lithium, you see that yes, it is comparatively more than cesium, isn't it? And it is minus 60, so more negative value of electron gain enthalpy is of lithium rather than cesium, isn't it? So here you will see in the group, what will you see? The negative value of electron gain enthalpy, what happens? It decreases down the group, okay? But when we are seeing in the period, it is going on increasing. Here you can see the oxygen, fluorine, sulfur and chlorine. Huh? Some difference is there. When you are seeing oxygen, it is minus 141 and sulfur you are seeing it is minus 200. So you are seeing here more uh, electron gain enthalpy, negative electron gain enthalpy in case of sulfur, okay, rather than oxygen, okay. So and here also you are seeing what you are seeing that the negative electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is more than that of chlorine. Actually here what happens, here you can see oxygen is 1 minus 141 sulfur it is minus 200 fluorine it is minus 28328 3, and chlorine it is minus 349 so here you are seeing what in case of sulfur here more negative electron gain enthalpy isn't it and here also in chlorine also you are seeing more 
a negative electron gain enthalpy okay and then you are seeing that yes it is going on decreasing okay the here actually what has happened here in oxygen and fluorine what happened electron is added to the shell number 2 and as the result what happens here more repulsion between the electrons are there and as the result what happened if the repulsions are more they will not allow the electrons to enter that shell and as the result it will have a negative less negative electron gain enthalpy but here the shell number increases and as the result that problem of repulsion of the electrons okay decreases and as the result it can take the electrons more easily and as the result we see more negative values over sulfur and chlorine rather than oxygen and fluorine okay and this is the reason why more electron gain enthalpy sulfur is rather having rather than oxygen and here chlorine is having rather than fluorine okay so here down the group I said to you the negative value of electron gain enthalpy decreases along the period. It goes on increasing. Okay. Exception for the group is oxygen and sulfur and fluorine and chlorine. Okay. We have studied about electron gain enthalpy. It is represented as what delta EGH. Okay. Here one more term I am saying electron affinity. Okay. So here these both the terms they have got the same value but the sign is different okay suppose if the electron gain enthalpy is negative in nature then affinity will be positive in nature we are taking suppose i'm explaining you with the help of for example like if we are taking neon atom of neon okay it has got positive electron gain enthalpy but affinity it will become negative in nature okay now coming to electron negativity what is electron negativity of the atom Okay, electronegativity of an atom is in a chemical com compound is what the tendency to attract the electron towards itself is known as electronegativity. Okay, suppose if we take the example of HCl. Okay, here which will be more uh, electronegative? Uh, okay, the one which is pulling the electron towards itself, isn't it? So here which one will be doing more? This uh, chlorine, isn't it? So here. What will be more negative? Chlorine, isn't it? So it will have a negative charge, isn't it? Partial negative charge will come here because of what? Polarity. Okay, electron negativity also says about the polarity. Okay, so now here, this when we are saying about electron negativity, it is not a measurable quantity. Why? Because like ionization enthalpy, Okay, electron gain enthalpy, we are not, we can't calculate it. Okay, okay, it is given in the numer numerical scales like Pauling scale, Millikan's Jiffy uh, um, scale, Alfred Rutcher scale. Okay, these three scales tells about the electron negativity and the most used uh, scale is the Pauling scale. Okay, Pauling scale was given by Linus Pauling. Okay, and he stated that in his Pauling scale, the highest value of electron negativity is of fluorine, and that is four. And other elements are compared. Okay, all are compared according to the value. Okay, this fluorine is the most electron negative element. Okay, now how does it vary along the group and across the period okay across the period it increases across the period okay from left to right electron negativity increases okay like if you see the electron negativity of sodium and electron negativity of chlorine whose it will be more it will be more of chlorine isn't it it needs only one electron now coming to the group what happens it decreases along the group why from sodium to potassium, the group 1 element we are seeing, it goes on decreasing. Why it goes on decreasing? We are seeing the effective nuclear charge is also decreasing from uh, sodium to cesium, isn't it? Over here you can see that the cesium atomic size is too large rather than sodium. So effective nuclear charge decreases and if it decreases naturally, the tendency to attract the electrons decreases. So when we go from... Uh, up to down in the group it decreases across the group so this is all for today good day take care